Michael, thanks for coming on the, the right note and playing Midnight in Tokyo. Yeah, my pleasure. It sounds like uh, it sounds like a bit of a love song and a song a song of longing as well. And then you've got that bit in there about losing your mind in Japan. Mm -hmm. How does it all kind of tie together? How deep do you want to get, Rod? How much time? Deep, do you got? deep. <laughs> Can I lay down? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a love song, and uh, it's a. Uh, it's about an ex and probably the the uh, greatest relationship and loss I've ever had. Right. And uh, and um, I actually I, I proposed to her in, in Tokyo on New Year's Eve, midnight. Right. So it's very literal. Uh huh. Um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was uh, I've never really like opened up about this kind of stuff, and especially in songwriting. I've been a little bit more private mm. and uh, try to mask as much as I can. But with this, with these new songs and this record, um, because of that experience, I've been able to kind of like let everything out and be a lot more vulnerable, mm. which has felt really amazing um, for the songwriting part. Right, right. <laughs> so when you're performing that just then, or yeah. even when you were writing it, does it still kind of tear at you a little bit? Yeah, I, th I mean, it definitely lingers. When you go through something and you really fall in love, like if anyone mm. gets to fall in love, um, maybe once, maybe multiple times, um, I think you really understand um, how much it can change you and, and, and how much it, it will never really leave you. Mm. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, it was a, you know, falling in love is the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. And, and then we ended up breaking up. So, and, and that's the hardest thing too. And yeah, and, yeah it makes for a good song. Yeah, absolutely. And and I had sort of I had read somewhere that you were saying that you had quite a lot of life experiences since the last album, um, and you've poured them into the songwriting. Is that are there other experiences other than than that sort of breakup, or was that the main breakup that's gone into the making of the EP? Um, there, I mean, I've been touring a lot mm. the last few years, and I think just getting into my thirties, I've really kind of figured out who I am. Um, Although I, I kind of thought who I, I knew who I was when I was 21 too, but everyone does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think it's all really come together, and I kind of I'm really enjoying getting older. And uh, but yeah, that that you know, proposing to someone and being like, "Yo, we're gonna get married. And this is gonna be forever." I mean, that's probably the biggest thing you're ever gonna do. And, of course. You know? So uh, yeah, but also you know, making this record, um, the band had a lot of kind of questions. And everyone was kind of doing other things, mm. and um, so the focus was a little bit difficult. And we we all we almost called it quits kind of during the, the, the process. Right. Um, of actually making the EP. Yeah, it was kind of like we were doing some songs, and I was kind of like, you know, maybe this is it because everyone was kind of all over the world mm. playing in different bands, and we couldn't kind of get together. And I just thought it's uh, it became a big strain on our like friendship too. Mm -hmm. And then actually when we did these last songs on the EP, that kind of, we all were in the same room for a week. Right. Recording it, and it actually that kind of was the thing that, that you know, got us back to, to liking each other. <laughs> now, I, and I know, we, we love each other, but like, be like, okay, actually, these songs are great. Yeah. We do something great together, and uh, it feels really good. Yeah, nice. Because I was, that's one of the things I was going to ask you. Obviously, Tyler has been off with Arctic Monkeys. Yeah. Uh, Zach's been doing Last Shadow Puppets. Yeah. And, and myriad other things. How do you kind of stay focused and keep some momentum to this project when you are also busy doing your other things? Um, I think the friendship kind of and having that foundation mm. is really important because if it was just a business, you might be willing to give it up, mm -hmm. you know? But um, I, think, I think checking in and, and, and making sure that we're still laughing together and having a good time is extremely important. Um, I've been friends with Zach since I was 11 years old, so I, like, that's not gonna go away. And and that's why I, al I almost was like, let's just stop because our friendship yeah. is much more important than than this. But um, luckily, we figured it out. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And whose idea was it to cover "Girl Like You" by Edwin Collins? It was mine. Um, uh, I I always I I love looking for covers and and you know fans. Will throw out songs and be like, "This would be great for mini mansions," you know. You you know, and it's, it's like a, 
a Beatles song or, you right. know what I mean, like, or, you know, something that's just, like, right on the nose. Yeah, yeah. And that's too easy, and so I, lo I love, you know, searching for a song that, that we can kind of, you know, turn on its head. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Nice. That's, that's kind of, to me, in the States at least, that was, like, a hit song that was never yeah, hit. It was, yeah. I know it was big Same over here, here and in, in the UK, maybe, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, cool. And what's your relationship with the Hanks family? Because <laughs> <Thanks, family. laughs> you've got. I only know one Hanks. Well, you've got. Well, I guess because you were wife, in but. the film with Tom. I mean, I know you worked and play a major part, but in what are you uh, talking about? a circle. Oh, is that, is that you're what it's called? Right. Right. Yeah. So that's you're... true. <laughs> Obviously, you have to be. Yeah, we share screen time together. <laughs> <laughs> and then Colin directed your latest video works yeah. every time, and also starred in the video for yeah. Any Emotions. Wow. So, Full circle. Right. Exactly. Say. Yeah. So where? What's your relationship with perhaps more so Colin than Tom? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I've never met Tom, unfortunately. Um, but Colin's just a, uh, he's been a friend for years, um, friend of the band. I don't even know how long I've known him, but on the last record, um, there was this director who wanted to do a video for us for the song Any Emotions. Mm. And um, I th we asked Colin, because maybe because he's, the best actor I actually know, right. and and we asked him to do this this part, and he did such a fantastic job. Um, it's really hard to do what he did, mm -hmm. and um, and so then on this on this record, you know, he he's been directing a few things, um, a few documentaries, and, yeah. and so and so we asked him to direct something instead. Yeah, no, he did the Tower Records documentary, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, yeah, which was great. Did yeah. you see that? Fantastic, yeah, yeah. So you um. Or a multi instrumentalist. Obviously, you bass. You play bass in Queens of the Stone Age. Play guitar and do some drums in Mini Mansions as I used, well. I used to be the drummer. Used to be the drummer. I gave it up. Right. Yeah. So, which is your preferred instrument out of all the instruments you play? Uh, they all have merit, and uh, I'm a guitar player originally. So, mm. and that's how I write everything. Mm -hmm. So, I guess that's my favorite because I'll never, you know. I love bass. I love playing bass, and it's, it's you know, kind of got me to where I am now. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I'm a songwriter first and foremost, and, yeah, right. and so I think I need the guitar. Okay. The drums was fun because yeah. I like learned. I learned when we started Mini Mansions. Yeah. You know, it was like we need a drummer, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. Right. And so I figured it out on the spot. Yeah. And that right. was really fun, but. Yeah. And do you find you, you tend to pick up instruments reasonably quickly? Uh. Once you kind of know, I mean, once they're in the, you know, you know one and they're in the same, like the string family or mm -hmm. whatever, um, they're easy. But like if I pick up a saxophone, I have, I have no idea what I'm doing. Right. And have you? No. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's not true. I have probably when I was younger, but then I was like, right. this, I... Uh, yeah. So when did the music bug bite for you? Uh, really young. My, my parents, we had a piano in the house and, and they, me and my sister had to take lessons when we were like, I think I was probably like four. Right. And they weren't like, like, you know, whipping us to, you know, get yeah, us yeah. in shape, but, but they were like, they wanted us to be musical and, and do different things when, you know, when you're a kid. And, yeah. And, uh, but then I got an electric guitar when I was like seven. Okay. And, uh, and I just fell in love with like punk rock and, and right. all that, and really young. And uh, yeah, just started playing shows. Um, when I was 11, played my first show at this punk rock club when I was 11. Right. In the San Fernando Valley. And, what do you and remember of that? I'm, actually, I kind of remember it. I remember it all pretty vividly because there was this place called the Cobalt Cafe in, in San Fernando Valley, and, and that's, that's where I grew up. And it was an important place for um, underage bands and punk rock bands um, to have an outlet. And so I remember making all the flyers, you know, back in, you know, passing them out at school. Yeah. And, and uh, doing everything, you know, making the cassettes, the artwork, everything. It was all DIY then, because, I mean, you had nothing else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So who were you listening to that was teaching you how to play guitar? Well, I think that the first records I got, I think they were on the same day, maybe I went to Fedco with my mom, I remember, and we got, I got Nirvana Nevermind and Green Day Dookie. They didn't come out at the same time, but I remember getting them together. Yeah, yeah. And so, and both different, um, but I, and I just fell in love with both. And for, you know, Green Day kind of like, you know, for my age bracket was like the mainstream that got you into punk rock. And, totally, you know, yeah. And Nirvana in, a, in another way as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So those were the first things. Right. So what is it like then when you've presumably met some of these people who you grew up idolizing? Dave Grohl, obviously, I imagine, uh, has a close association with Queens. And yeah, man. Uh, it's a trip, and you gotta you gotta pinch yourself. I, you know, I don't I don't take any of this for granted, and I don't take where I've um, got and have been for granted, um, and the people I get to play with. Mm -hmm. I'm very fortunate, and I think. Uh, but it's like you're all here because you're like-minded individuals, and you know you've all been extremely disciplined mm -hmm. and worked really hard to get where you're at. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's kind of where the connection yeah, lies. Yeah. Um, but it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, cool. And you also do some scoring work as well. Yeah. Uh, are you working on anything at the moment? No, I just wrapped. Uh, uh, another movie, um, but it's so time consuming. Uh -huh. um, it's a great new outlet for me um, because you can kind of take yourself out of it, take you know Michael out of it, and, mm. and, and play for a character and write for a character or a visual. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's really it's really inspiring, and um, I'm enjoying it a lot. But it takes a lot, a lot of time. Yeah, right. Yeah, is it a hard world to break into? Extremely. Uh -huh. There's like a few dudes that really get to do it, you know what I mean? That, yeah, yeah. And um, so, but I've, I did two movies with my friend who's a director, and mm -hmm. so he, hopefully he just keeps taking me along. <laughs> and I think that's the way it works, you know? Yeah, definitely. You, you bond with somebody and, and, you, and you have a mutual um, understanding and, and uh, you, you grow together. Yeah, nice. So many mansions have got works every time coming out yeah. very shortly. Yeah. What's after that? What happens? Uh, don't tell anyone, but we have like a, a whole bunch of other songs that <laughs> could or not end up on some kind of release. Right. Yeah. So this is like a little taster of an upcoming album? Yeah. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Which will be June. No, yeah, yeah. It, it is. Be, yeah. Right. Next year or later this year, do you think? Uh, sometime next year. Okay, cool. Yeah. And touring, I presume there's a bunch of touring before oh, yeah. the end of the year? Yeah. Okay. Can't stop. You bring a mini mansions down here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can't wait to come back down here. Um, we're figuring it all out right okay. now. All right, so you're not just being cryptic. There's, there's actually no plans right now. There are no plans right now. Okay, but you will make it. Yes. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Excellent. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much for coming on the show, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's great it. talking to you, man. See you. Yeah. in the valley make a good girl go down night drive lover riding blue million miles I'd go forever babe make a good girl go wild baby who's your man baby who you're dreaming of well I wanna do it like you wanna do baby who's your man Baby, who you dreaming of? Well, I want to do it like you want to do. But, honey, all you got to lose is just some love that will never survive. And all you got to lose is just some love that will never survive. Got me feeling like I'm loved. Now there's nothing else. You got me feeling like I'm loved. And now there's nothing else. You got me feeling like I'm loved. Now there's nothing else. my head in Japan, yeah. midnights in Tokyo, permanent love from a one night stand, cross my heart to die, 
Oh, I love insect the color beam so bright. Well, have I fell? Have we grown apart? For modern lovers, it's just the start. Feel it.